Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the TTPS Daily Press Briefing. I am ASP Joanne Archie. And in the Central Division, during the period 12 midnight and 8 a.m. today, officers of the Central Division conducted a warrant exercise in the Canopia and Shagonas districts. 30 persons were arrested on outstanding warrants. 45 warrants were executed. The exercise was coordinated by Senior Superintendent Dulal Chan and supervised by Inspector Samaru and included officers of the Court and Process Department. And during the period 10 p.m. last night to 2 a.m. today, a road traffic exercise spearheaded by Senior Superintendent Dulal Chan was conducted along the Shagonas Main Road. 48 fixed penalty notices were issued for various traffic violations. However, 33 of those were for driving without seat belts. And I want to again caution members of the public, seat belt saves lives. Failure to do so is against the law. And in the Port of, Port of Spain Division, around 11.25 p.m. on Wednesday, the 13th of June, 2012, an 18 year old man of St. Anne's boarded a taxi at Frederick Street, Port of Spain, with two other male occupants to be taken to St. James. Upon reaching in the vicinity of Napa, the vehicle came to a stop and one of the men announced a robbery. The man then robbed the victim of two cell phones, together value $1,900. They then dropped the victim at Tragrid Road, Port of Spain. A report was made at the CID office, Port of Spain. Officers continued inquiries, and around 1.20 a.m. on Thursday, the 14th of June, 2012, the vehicle was spotted in the Marabella district by officers of the Marabella police station. Officers attempted to intercept the vehicle when the two male occupants exited the vehicle. A chase ensued, and the officers held the two men. The men, a young boy aged 15 years of San Juan and 21 of El Socorro, are now assisting police on inquiries. The cell phones were recovered. And in the Southern Division, determination and devotion to duty by three officers of the CID Office San Fernando resulted in the arrest of two suspects, a 20-year-old man of Sunset Drive, Separia, and a 21-year-old man of Berridge Trace, South Oropuch. The facts are, around 9.15 p.m. on Thursday, the 14th of June, 2012, the victims, four men between the ages of 49 to 18, all of Debe Main Road, Debe, were walking along Ramai Trace, Debe, when they were confronted by two men armed with firearms who proceeded to rob them of cash, cell phones, and jewelry. The men then ran into a nearby cane field. The victims alerted residents in the area who made a report at the CID office San Fernando. Corporal Hussein, PC Ogunshei, and PC Pulchan immediately responded. The officers, with the assistance of other officers of the Highway Patrol Branch and Viper One, conducted a two-hour search of a cane field and waded through the swampy waters of a lagoon and nearby river, covering a radius of two miles, resulting in the arrest of the men. They recovered a quantity of cash, and the officers are still at the scene conducting further searches. We commend the officers involved in this search for their devotion to duty. And in the Central Division, Around 9.30 p.m. on Thursday, the 14th of June, 2012, a Chinese family who resides at Cali Bay Road, Perseverance Village, Kuva, and who are the proprietors of a Chinese restaurant, were at their home when three masked men, armed with cutlasses, entered their house, held up the couple and their children ages 12, 14, and 16. The victim and his wife were tied up and ordered to hand over cash and valuables. The men then began to beat the victim and his wife about a body and robbed them of five cell phones, one gold chain, one gold ring, $19,803 cash TNT currency, and a quantity of U.S. currency. 
one family member who was in another room observed what was taking place and contacted the police. Officers of the Shagonas and the Coover Task Force and the Freeport Police Station immediately responded and surrounded the house and captured the assailants inside the house. A 21-year-old man from Labre, a 21-year-old from New Grant, and an 18-year-old man from Coover were taken into custody. All the items were recovered. The victims were taken to the Coover Health Facility and later transferred to the San Fernando Hospital where they are seeking medical attention. Investigations are continuing. And again, we commend the officers involved in this exercise for their quick response resulting in the arrest of the offenders. And we have observed that we have been receiving several reports of children running away from home. We, these reports in some cases are episodic, and that is the child running away after something has happened. We want to advise parents that the most important thing they can do is to teach their children problem-solving skills. Parents should give their children responsibilities, create roles, tasks, and assignments specifically designed for their child to feel as though they are contributing to something significant in the home. Always acknowledge positive things about your child. In dealing with a difficult child, praises and compliments for positive behavior are as important as consequences for negative ones. You need to create an atmosphere of acceptance in the home. Parents, be your child's role model by exhibiting responsible and appropriate behavior at all times. The community police department in each police division provides counseling to children and parenting classes to assist them in raising their children. Interesting persons can assess these services by contacting, contacting the police station in your district. I thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and I will now open the floor for any questions you may have. Hi, good morning, um, Ms. Archie. Good morning, sir. Jessica Gonzalez, Trinidad Express. Uh, how was the, the, the joint patrols with the with the army and the police been working since it was um, <clears throat> since it has been implemented last week? Well, we have seen numerous um, exercises conducted throughout the country, and I would say it was highly successful. We have seen a, a collaboration there with members of the defense force, and this has been working quite well. Um, any any increase in the, in the number of arrests since you have these extra boots on the ground now? Well, actually, the exercises is a, is a, a very effective crime prevention uh, tool. And uh, what we have seen is uh, arrest for uh, narcotics. We have seen arrests for firearms and even traffic offenses. We have increase in, in issue where... Uh, fixed penalty notices, I'm sorry, were issued for traffic violations. So all in all, um, it is an all-encompassing exercise, all in fragments of the law, all crimes. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.